Good morning. I'm Tracy. Welcome. This is my YouTube channel, my TV show, my universe, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove. And pretty much everyone who's nice, friendly, or welcome at the Cove. Confused days and all that, they're welcome too. Just not mean. No mean people. The world is made enough. They're not coming on into my YouTube channel. But y'all, we like our coffee and tea and our hot beverages. Some morning pages. Talked about it yesterday. I have such anxiety right now. And here's the thing. I, um, my doctor gave me a few ambience to try for when I can't sleep. And um, I do believe I slept, but it makes me very emotional. <laughs> like crazy emotional. So I'm not sure this is going to be an option for me. But uh, yeah, we have a rainy Saturday. It's going to be on and off. So go today, walk. And um, the rest is up to me. I have all kinds of things I'd like to accomplish, lists of things. I'm watching um, in my Wanderlust year-long workshop, a new um, video dropped yesterday, Joanna Sharp, who's been around forever, and she's the queen of lettering and that kind of thing. And I was just watching her introduction and her supplies and what I don't have just like her, I got some something that's gonna work. So I think I would like to do some of that today. I need to, I would, um, I think whatever I can do, I need some artistic time today, some creativity time, non-thinking about crap time. So let's go over morning pages again. Julia Cameron, Artist Way Y'all, amazing book. Honestly, I would love to do a book club with that and us just work. I got to figure out, I don't know, I don't understand Facebook, but I would love to have an Artist Way book and talk about it with you guys in kind of real time where we're... You know, we are um, sharing ideas and um, stuff. But one of the, so the idea, not that you have to be an artist, but just a human, a human being, right? It should be going the human being way. But the idea is, um, you know, she, she worked with artists. She's, I think she's a director, a writer, that kind of thing. She was actually married to James Cameron for a while. Which apparently wasn't pleasant, but that's another story. And, um, yeah, and so you do, she's like, here's your toolbox, right? Here's, if you want to, if you want to engage in life in a different way, right? Not, here's your toolbox. One of the things is you're going to write in the morning. You're going to write for 15 minutes or three um, pages. Now, I, you know, it's up to you, right? Good for big. we got to follow the rules. Now, normally a normal notebook, you know, a little bigger, but what I started doing is because you, you, you don't go back and read it. It's not about that. It's not about dotting I's, crossing T's, making complete sentences. It is about pouring out whatever's in you, getting it out of your head, getting it out of your heart, getting it out of your soul. Does this happen after one time? Hell no. But when you do it consistently, and I know this, and I know this, and I know this, when you do it consistently, it alters something in you. And it's magic. I can't explain it, but it's almost like a valve where... All this stuff that I am not putting on this page is in me, is in my heart, it's in my mind, it's in my soul, my fear. My fear is running rampant right now. My fear is driving the bus. Oh, I can't have that. I cannot have it. There's also an amazing book by Elizabeth Gilbert called Big Magic. And again, in theory, quote, to, off, to creative, creative people, everyone's creative. Just to be a creative human being. And she talks about who's driving your car? Who's driving the car? You know, some you think of a parent going to the beach or something. They got kids in the back carrying on. You got maybe a bossy wife, a bossy, whatever. Who is driving your car right now? And I think it's a good way to say, what is your dominant emotion? What are you maybe basing your food choices on? Whatever you're doing right now, where what is causing you anxiety, right? Um, and one of the ways of dealing with that is morning pages. You don't need any, you don't need professional. You don't have a copay. You don't even need a notebook. Y'all start saving all the junk mail you get. Because what I do is, you can do it however you want, right? But the point is not to be neat. The point is not to rationalize, make it make sense. That's, that's, no. How lovely is that? So I, it, all different things are coming up already. Day two, already gunk is coming up. And that's scary to me scary to me, right? 
So, and I can go into, why haven't you been doing this? You'd be in such a different place now. If you've done this every day, blah, 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 you know. Okay, on the page. That's bullshit, on the page. So this was mine yesterday. So basically I did it three times. You can do whatever you want. 15, set your alarm for 15 minutes. Decide, okay, I'm gonna do this three times. I was doing it wildly. So I, I did the timer for 15 minutes. I mean, it just was wildly. So today y'all, this went beyond, this was savage. This was savage. This was anger. This was fear, anger, denial, blame. A lot of blame was coming out here, right? It's a powerful tool. And I got reminded by it from a man on a show called Surviving the Survivor. And he has this thing called The Lifeboat. In and out of prison, came from upper middle class people, you know, Olympic skier, got on drugs, doctor wouldn't give them to him, started robbing banks to pay for his drug. And when someone asked him, and what his job now is, what he does now is try to help other people like him. People who need help, right? And he said, when someone asked him, what was it? Like, how did you get really, because he was in and out of prison a lot. And what finally got him out of it? Like, what finally got him clean? And he said journaling. He said he didn't use the word morning pages, but he exactly described what the morning pages are. I mean, it's not like Julie Cameron came up with this. She just named it and do it at night. I did it at lunch yesterday, y'all. It's a, it, it has already, and I think because it's almost like, you know, I'm going to join the gym and I'm going to start doing weightlifting. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to get a trainer for like three or four weeks, have them start me, and then three or four weeks six weeks, do it myself. Work on my, and when I'm ready and I feel like my body's gotten stronger within that, I'm going to get another trainer and we'll learn something new. But my body is, I'm at a point where I can change everything around, right? I just haven't felt strong. And I have room for improvement. That's the blessing, right? Some people are at a point where it's, it's not... There are some things that can change. You can change your head, of work on your head, but physically. But it's just like, but what will happen when I go to the gym is, it's not going to take long for my memory muscle, because you know I spent lots of time with trainers and gyms. My, your, your, I can even sometimes visualize it because there was this extra, this, um, there's a, in your back, there's this muscle here, and she called it, my trainer called it angel wings. It's really, it's challenging to get to where you work on those only because you tend to work on everything around it. But right now I can close my eyes and just feel like her finger on me pointing at it while I was working on it. So I know the muscle memory is there and I'm going to, it's not going to take me long to get it going because I've done the work, right? It's just like my house as I declutter, the underneath, right, is organized. The underneath makes sense. So once you get going past all the debris, that, and that honestly is what I'm thinking of it as, when you bring stuff in and you don't deal with it and it piles up, it's debris, as opposed to something useful, something beautiful, something you know worthy of being in your house. So it's day two, I'm hitting, I'm hitting black, I'm hitting deep, and the anxiety in my chest is overwhelming. But I'm just going to live with it for these two days. I will be having a Xanax closer to my surgery. But I'm going to tell you this. And there's probably no accidents. So this eye, you know, but it can't read. This eye is just totally um, blurred. But it can read. It has been really, I don't want to use the word awful. This is a very strong word. But it has really messed me up. Because it's just, I have, I'm crying because the ambient. It's just has made me feel unstable in a way that is uncomfortable and that I couldn't overcome, right? Sometimes you just are in a position where you're uncomfortable and you try to work on it. And I know, so Wednesday's my second surgery and then I will be getting adjusted to readers. And I know that's gonna be different. You know, I don't, Beverly was saying, yeah, wait till you're in the grocery store and you have to take your glasses on and off to read and then walk and, I just thought I can't even hear that right now. Sometimes, you know, you just get tired of adjusting. <laughs> but that's what life is, right? 
I mean, every day you're trying to, I try to adjust to my own mood. But it's been hard to text. You know, which makes it hard to reach out to people. And it started me in a depression along with the other stuff. But when I heard that man say, I mean, I believe in guardian angels and divine guidance. I do. When he started talking about that, I'm like, thank you. Thank you. And immediately got out and did it. Immediately just leaving it right on my table. I think I might do this all day today. Like every time I'm feeling incredible anxiety, I might just come and start pointing it out. So the other thing um, she has is walk every day. Walk every day. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. That, that is one of the keys to having a fulfilling life, a creative life. Um, and I fall short on that. Don't know why. It doesn't matter why at this point. Really, it doesn't matter. Does it matter? No. What matters is I walk, right? Today. So as my anxiety is kicking in, yawn, it's kicking in. I'm, it's raining, but it's not going to be a solid rain all day. I'm just going to throw my stuff on and start moving my body. And then the third thing she has is called artist dates, right? An artist date can be anything. Um, I had did have an artist weight group a long time ago. It was really a just... Um, really eclectic group of people. I tend to track the eclectic people in my life and I bring people together. It's always interesting <laughs> who clicks, who doesn't click. And like, how can you, why are you friends? I've had that said to me. I'm like, I, I don't know. They're interesting. They're different. They're not me. They're totally different. I find that really interesting and, and exciting actually. And you learn about yourself, right? You think, whoa. But um, there's one friend who really taught me to appreciate my mother. <laughs> And, you know, maybe if I can't do it here, I can look around and figure out how to do an artist way thing with people in my area. I don't know. But uh, it's an artist date. So what we did as a group, you can do it weekly, but it was monthly. Have an artist date. I don't remember. Maybe it's weekly. But monthly, we would all get together and each person would choose what we would do, right? So it was a variety. One person chose, we went to this Catholic school that has the... Um, like a statue of the Virgin Mary because I think it's Mary's the name of the school and had a walking path and we went there and we took pictures and we drew and just what was quiet we said to our you know we're going to give ourselves an hour of quiet to walk around to sit whatever we wanted to do we were just going to give ourselves silence for an hour we once, want, somebody wanted, wanted to go over the bridge, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, all oh, that other poor bridge is nowhere near me. It doesn't affect my life, but what, how sad. I just, oh my God. Um, but we go over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, which is a good two, I mean, depending, you do not want to do that in the going to the beach, but uh, it's the summertime, but I went over the bridge and we had seafood and crabs and, you know, I'm from Maryland, so I know how to pick crabs. Y'all, maybe I will do a crab tutorial for you. I'll get some crabs this summer outside, but I know how to do my crabs. I know how to work the whole thing. And a lot of people don't like the work of the crab. They want a crab cake. That's fine. I just screw up. It's fun. To me, picking crabs is community, and we would get together as a neighborhood. And, um, you know, even my mom and my brother and I would go, you know, my brother would not pick a crab. My brother is very fastidious, and that's just how he is. Firstborn, poor thing. It's just fastidious, right? I'm not. So um, my mom, we could pick some crabs. So that was one thing. <clears throat> and we talked about what we'd read. And we talked about what is an artist date. It's whatever you mean. You can go walk around anywhere. Like we have downtown. One time we went down to a museum downtown. I went to Portrait Museum. You know, one time, um, trying to think. I got everyone to go to the Dollar Tree. And the idea was to find 10 things. It was the Dollar Tree then. Find 10 things. You didn't have to buy them. 10 things that you could, you could um, make a quick drawing of. You could take a picture of them. We're talking old-fashioned cameras, whatever. But it was whatever. I mean, I, you know, or let's get 10 things and think, how can we be creative with 10 things? 
So one time someone shows me the Buddhist monastery and they have a labyrinth and we went again in silence and we walked the labyrinth and then we got together and talked about maybe what was coming up, that kind of thing. So it was a lot of fun. And um, one of my friends, um, Lee, I worked with, she lived near this place called Glen Echo and it's an old amusement I don't know, local, like it had like little bumper cars and um, it's from the 30s and 40s. They had music halls and still people go and do, I would love that. If I get to where I feel really strong, go do some dancing. Um, there are classes there. It's a, some things are abandoned. My brother, actually, I'll have to have him send me a picture. Of, there was a ride called the Cuddle Up, which is like, you know, like a, ooh, there was nothing crazy or tall. There was a merry-go-round. Oh God, I love merry-go-rounds. I think one time we went to a playground so people were really creative in what we did. And that was fun because I wouldn't have thought of a lot of that stuff, you know. Um, and you just knew you were going to do it, right? Like where I really, there's stuff I want to do, but I'm tired, right? You know, my, my work day is, is good 10 hours. And, um, and those 10 hours, you know, I have two commuting. But those 10 hours, um, you know, eight, I'm, I'm engaged, you know engaged and it's, it's a lot. I have been trying to go out to my car. I went out yesterday, it was so beautiful, messed around. My, my squirrel was there, I gave him some apple. Took a little walk, I sat, I had a sweet potato and read part of a book. I gotta bring that book and show you guys. It's a fun book, it's by James Patterson. He has a series of books where he like on police or defense attorney, stuff like that. This one happens to be on booksellers, librarians, bookworms. And so as I'm working myself back into reading, um, it's going to be so interesting with classes, but each, they're little chapters, like little pages, right? Like the first person was someone who's a bookseller at an independent bookstore and how, her journey to get there. It was one of the children's librarian in a high school. So just fascinating, loving it. Just was just perfect. I could see myself so far in every single person was really interesting, Bevy, Beverly Clearly, Beverly Clearly, who wrote, um, God, are you there? It's me, Margaret, among other things, right? What's that? Fate? There's one mouse one, but she decided at some point she didn't write, don't write anymore. It's hard, right? It's, it's, it's a very solitary thing. And she probably was making, I swear for God, are you God, are you there? God, it's me, Margaret, probably was enough for her to live comfortably the rest of her life, her royalties, and they made a movie and all that kind of stuff. There's a current movie on that too. Uh, so she decided she didn't want to. So they were going in and out of Key West all the time and they decided to move to Key West. And there were a lot of independent bookstores when they first started going and then there were none. And they would go into Coral Springs to some, it's Miami, something or other, like an independent bookstore. And they were really good friends with the people. And they're like, the man's like, start it, I'll help you. You find a rent you can afford that you can do, and I'm going to get you started. And that's what she, they do. They have an independent bookstore. She loves it. She said it's so much fun. You know, she loves talking to people and, you know, people come and want their picture and, you know, and she has books and she'll sign them and all kinds of stuff like that. So I just thought, wow, you know, to walk away and, you know, Ann Patchett has a bookstore, Larry McMurtry had a bookstore. A lot of um, authors have bookstores and I need to bring this book to show you called Bibliophile. Um, let me see, I'm going to make my notes because... It's the way I can remember to do things. And I'm really training myself to look at notes. It's a bibliophile in the Patterson book. Okay. But it's really, it's a perfect book for me to sort of, and I just sat and had the sun on my face and we have a beautiful, most, most libraries have garden clubs. <laughs> And our, and you know, ours is spectacular. We have master gardeners everywhere. And these women are dedicated. I'm trying to kidnap one to my yard. I am, her name's Cynthia, I'm trying to get her to my yard, but I think she would, but you know, it's probably frowned upon. But I was just looking at snapdragons and they had yellow and purple. And so they know what they're doing. It's just, it's just amazing. So I gave myself that moment. I'm like, sometimes I'll go in the kitchen and just, I don't know, go through things, organ, you know, and, and people come and talk. And, you know, so I needed just quiet time. I'm beginning to understand. I really need more quiet time. So, 
yeah so i am gonna journal i'm gonna write out all this gunk in me all this fear darkness things i can't name another thing when more settled i'm gonna do this emdr training and we'll talk about that later but i'm already putting the universe asking that you know my guides show me my way to that you know and like they show me the way to the morning pages so i could have easily thought okay oh yeah morning pages i need to i'm going to do those put it on the list but i thought no i got pen and paper immediately and did it because i knew that it this was from my angels i knew it you know and for those of you and my friends would be like the crickets like oh okay don't need to convince anyone else i know and i also got a penny yesterday I would say, Mom, am I thinking the right, am I going the right way? And she's probably like, oh my gosh. But this, I need it. I do. I still need that. Um, and then I, I, like I said, I'm not on Instagram a lot right now. But one, I, I have a hard time seeing. So it's just annoying and reading. And um, so, but the first thing that came up were a woman talking about your guardian angels and how they work. And, you know, so, and I know I've studied, I've read, I have belief. And I thought, yeah. When I'm in a position, I can't just say at work, okay, hold on, I need to journal out 15 <laughs> minutes of stuff. I just start talking to them internally. I'm like, yeah, I'm scared. Can I, can I, can you help me? What can I do? Tell me what, to lead me before I need to go. Give me the strength, give me the focus, give me the, the clarity to understand. And again, that takes me out of that spiral of negative thinking. So it's very important. So that's what's going on. And, um, yeah, so today, um, I got up, I, I just thought, you know what, let's just hop in the shower, get dressed, right? I want to change how I'm doing things, right? I want to be more conscious. So, and I came down, I've been eating, I ate a little bit of my breakfast. So I could have some warm, made a couple of eggs. I have cut up tomato and some raspberries. So that's another thing right now. Food, food is the other message I'm getting. So yesterday I had, um, one of my coworkers like, I'm going to go to Starbucks. I'm like, oh, like Pavlov's dog. And you know what? I felt terrible. I felt terrible after. So I have to equate it. It's not a treat. It's, um, punishment. Cause it's gonna make me feel shitty. Really, really shitty. And right now I can't afford that. Can I have my cup of coffee in the morning? Yeah. But today, even, you know what? You know, I don't add sugar. I know there's sugar in my creamer. But I've stopped adding sugar. I'm that's where I'm at right now. But I thought, you know, if you want an iced coffee, make an iced coffee with this. And you know, I love iced tea. I thought, let's make some iced tea. And I have y'all, have you ever tried that ginger powder from Trader Joe's? You put a little bit of that in your tea, it is yummy. Yummy. So that's what I'm gonna put on here and make some tea. I love iced tea. It's colder today, it's not freezing cold, it's just wet and yucky. So, um, yeah, my friend Kenny's come in around noonish, and uh, we're going to get some stuff done and a plan made. So, um, yeah, and I don't even want to talk about what I'm going to do. I have a list of things to do. I've ear, I, you know, I can say I've earmarked tomorrow to go in my garage. I don't know. Maybe I'll go down there for an hour later, feel like I need to get out of the house. I need to move, you know, and um, move my car and do 10 minutes, do 20 minutes, right? But I am very committed the vets came, took a bunch of stuff. They're going to come Tuesday. And I may have them come around to my port, the back, right? So I'm going to be in my garage. And I'm just going to start packing stuff up and letting it go. I've got a bunch of boxes. We're at work. So that was good. So, yeah, I have stuff I want to do. And, um, you know, a little grooming, a little, you know, like got, uh, I got stuff. I'm washing these tops that I found in the garage that my mom had gotten. So, and I have, a, I have one more blanket to wash. I got wet. But once all that's done tomorrow, I'll start laundry. But there will be art. There will be art. And I'm going to think of an artist date next week. So, Monday, I work regularly. Tuesday, I, I work till four. I change my schedule. I work early. I'm going to come home and make something for dinner for my friend. And just not feel rushed. Because normally I would work till, I wouldn't get home till nine, you know. And we're going to leave the house at like 6.15. So I, I just want to get to bed early, right? Hang out with her and make her something yummy. And then, um, you know, then's my surgery. And then that day I take it easy. You know, you really, 
it's amazing how it doesn't hurt, but you really are a little, you know, being, having whatever that twilight is, it really does make you sort of tired. And my goal is to just drink water all day, right? Maybe just listen to uplifting things. Then, um, Thursday, I will go drive myself in the morning. I think my brother said he would take me, but I think I'm fine. Um, I drove last time with my eye not great, but I'll have a really good eye this time. And I, I think I'll be fine. And then, you know, get all the information from him. And then I think I have a um, one-week appointment after that, two weeks. And But I don't know, like, I just want to ask him, like, okay, so he said my eyes go between, like, a 2.0 and a 3.0, anywhere in between. What I don't know is, is a 2.5 good? Or if you have a 2.0, does it do those things really matter? I just have never had to use them. I don't know. But I know right now it's going to be a challenge because one of the beauties of my glasses is I never took them off unless I took them off at night or I didn't need them to read. Sometimes I would take them off while I was reading and then, you know, chaos trying to find them again. So I'm going to give myself grace. I know it's going to be a minute to figure all this out, but I will... You know, I have three pair right now of the readers. I have one at work, one in my purse, and one in the kitchen. But I, I don't know if he's going to say, well, in a month, you will really know where you're at. Or does it continually change? So if I end up at a 2.5, is a 3.0 okay to see? Or do I really need a 2.5 in reading glasses? I don't know, right? And then I am going to go on Tamu and buy a crap load. Just am. They're um, cheap. And then I'm going to research. I'd like to buy one pair that's, you know, what is the difference? Like, is there a difference between, let's say, a $10 pair of readers and um, well, the ones I got at Amazon, I think there was three for $20, which is different than three per pair or the Dollar Tree. Because I'd like to have really good ones that I would have with me at work. So I don't know, right? I don't know. I have some cute sunglasses. Um, but I'm going to wear my old people ones, you know, but I'm going to have sunglasses. I don't think these are adorable. I wouldn't mind having readers like that. Anyway, so that's the thinking there. I got to do some research on that. Let me write that down. Okay. Yeah. And, um, I'm ready for my first floor to be finished. My, I already call it my first floor, but it's really my second floor, my kitchen level. I'm ready to, um have this done. And today we will be eating, um, I have a Trader Joe's haul to do for you all. I have a bag I can't find. I thought it was in my car. It's Cause I know I'm missing tuna, a bag of popcorn. I, it was all the stuff that could stay in the car. Okay, I got some stuff to upload. So what I know now is I'm gonna go in the kitchen, the living room and I have paper sorted and bins, label them, get them downstairs. But also now I need to get up and move. Like I really cannot sit in the same, I cannot sit Indian style on my floor for two hours and get up easily. So I really am gonna start doing my alarm and get up and then, oh, let me go do this for 20 minutes and set that alarm so I go back. I've gotta work on that for my body, for my, my back and all that. But, and you know what? Maybe I can get two or three walks in. That'd be awesome between the rain yard stuff to do and some weed whacking. I don't, I don't know. Other than when it's actually raining, I'm going to try to weed whack a little bit in between and see how that works. I do have some weeds to pull up front. So I think that will be easier because of it'd be wet. Yeah. And then some garage stuff. So it's just going to rotate around and then I'd like to do a little reading. I'd like to do some art, that kind of thing. And some of my, my drawings and I got to film my drawings. So what I want to do with my, you know, my 100-day project is set an alarm for five minutes. I want to see, and you know, unless it causes me anxiety or something, I just want to see, okay, this is, five, and that will be it, right? Because this is just about doing it every day. It's really not about how the end result, but that might be kind of fun. I think I'm like 10 behind in theory, but I do want to end up on the 10, and then get those done, caught up, and then do, you know, get my stuff right here, a little bag, and then just do 10 minutes a day in the morning. Okay, okay, got 10 minutes, work on your little drawing. And then this um, project that uh, week 18 is Joanne Sharp. She um, She's known for lettering. That's her big thing. So what she had, her project is you do like a dark sky 
Um, so, do, and I have some amazing dark bluish paint. So you do a dark sky and then you want to use, so there's a quote from Van Gogh, I think from, um, about like something stars in the sky, something like that. So that's what you want you to work on. And then, you know, have gold and add gold stars or, you know, whatever it is, drops, whatever it is you want to do. And then, you know, decide how you want to do the lettering. Um, I think my, my handwriting is fine. I'm not like my, my First supervisor, Rita, has the best handwriting. Actually, I always told her, I want you, if I say, I want, I said, I want you to write out your alphabet, you know, I want to learn to write like you. And she's like, well, whatever you need written, I'll write. That reminds me, you guys. I'm going to call her today because I have this, like I said, huge amounts of wrapping paper. Christmas. So I think what I'm going to do is when I go out, I got to get all the boxes out of my car and, um, Get my I do at some point, maybe Friday, depending on what my car looks like. I'd love to go have it just washed and, and vacuumed in. I used to do it all the time, but it's expensive. But um, I think I'll do it like once now, once at the end of the summer, that kind of thing. Because it forces me to clear it out. And like I was looking under seats and stuff. I was finding winter gloves, stuff like that. So I want to do a good clear out of my car and then load up her wrapping paper and I may, because I don't have anything I have to do before work, and I have to be at work at, like, 11.45, so I may get up early and just go to her house and give her that paper, um, and the beauty of it is I can go visit her if I feel like I need snippets of it. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. You know, Trader Joe's has these really good um, chocolate, chocolate croissants, so I might make... Um, make her one of those and bring it over and then bring that. Let me write this down. So Monday, Rita. She brought me eclairs from this really good bakery called Stella's, which Angie, Angela used to do all the time. Okay, that's a good thought. And um, yeah. I just, I realized, you know, I'm letting stuff go, y'all. I know I am. And it's stuff I do not. I don't want to let my Santa go. I, let my, I don't want to let my elephant go. But these needed to go. And people needed to enjoy them. So I'm in stepping up my game. And paper and all that, you know, I've caught myself caught into sorting paper, which I love. But it's very time consuming. And right now, the th I'm having, I told Beverly, I had to walk away because my brain was like, well, is this children's? Is this vintage? You want vintage vintage or sort of vintage? I thought, okay, vintage. Children's, don't care. Vintage, vintage. So I have these categories. I have 10. And um, I thought, yeah, let's just finish up what I have out now. Label them. Um, I know where they're going to go in my studio. And then the papers that I have to still be sorted, like there is a, there was a box in the um, garage, so I've been taking some out at night, and I just have recycle and then to sort the ones I think I want to keep. And I'm getting rid of almost eight tenths of it, and um, that will go in a box where I can either look through or one day when I feel the need to sort, because that's a whole separate thing, then I can sort. Yeah, I kind of forget sometimes I'm making these rules up. Literally, my day can go over how I want, but there's a taskmaster saying, you know, really? You're getting surgery Wednesday. You better get your shit and work all weekend as hard as you can. And then you can rest. Don't work that way. And as my friend Beverly likes to say, you're older now. It's not even that I'm older, you guys. It's, a, it's the brain and the focus. But we're going to, I'm telling you, we got, I got my ch chicken nuggets to make today. I got some green beans at Trader Joe's. So I want to roast up the green beans. I want to roast up some onion and pepper. Yum, yum, yum. And I got the sweet potatoes. I'm love, I don't know what it is. I hated sweet potatoes. But I'm obsessed with sweet potatoes. And then I have some salad, but I also want to do this Greek salad, right? Where you do, um, so what I need for that, I'm, and I got a couple lettuce bags I'm going to eat up, but I think what I'm going to edge into is now salads are just, it's salad season, y'all. So get like one or two different 
lettuces and make bags of them. So when I want a salad, this bag's ready to go, right? And then um, I'm gonna get out my little thing that cuts things into cubes. So I need, um, I got some tomatoes, right? I would like to get some, I, I have these little tomatoes. They're sprinkled tomatoes, but they're kind of fun to eat. So I don't know if I'll roast them. Little tomatoes. And then um, I want some cucumber. I have feta, and then you do the feta, you do red beans, it's like a Greek salad, and then you make with like a lot of lemon and different, you know, I want to make my own dressing. So that'll be a good thing to have, right? Um, and I have to think about what I want to make for my friend. So it's Cinco de Mayo Friday, what, Sunday? So maybe I'll make her, She it has to be white chicken meat, y'all. I'm just gonna, she loves Mexican stuff. She loves enchilada. So maybe I have enchilada sauce. I'm pretty sure we'll look, I have some shredded chicken. So I need to get some avocado. I have salsa, I have sour cream, I have cheese. Um, I have, I got, Yucca had said that these are, like y'all, I've been looking, tortillas are very hard. They're very, very hard to find healthy ones. So this one's white corn, water, and lime, right? So these are corn tortillas. So these are gonna be my new tortillas. I just, I mean, there's 12 and it's always a lot. But I thought, you know what? You can make different dishes with them, you know? I don't know, I could shrink wrap them. Yeah. But I can make something, I think she likes, well, she likes chips, right? Those are, yeah. But um, I wonder how, if I can find, but anyway, Yucca told me this. Actually, my my supervisor was looking and she's like, man, it's hard to find good tortillas. I said, tell me about it. So the one she got scanned and this popped up. So, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Like a some kind of enchil chicken enchilada, right? And I can put that together Monday and then that would be perfect to bake. So that's good. And I don't have to really buy anything. It's even better. I would like to find y'all a good flour tortilla that's healthy. And I don't mean carb wise, because I don't know when you start, you know, there's those low carb ones from Missoni and they're, they're yummy, but there's crap in them that's not yummy. So you're not trying to eat low carb or have no gluten and then eating crap that's opposite. Just like, you know, oat milks, y'all, this three sisters, I'm sorry, it's three trees. We're gonna go over that. Oh, and I wanna make some chia seeds, right? I have some bananas somewhere. They're probably in my car and the mice are feasting on them right now. But when I was looking in my garage, you know, it's gonna go pretty good. And it's just really gonna be let go, let go, clean, let go, let go, let go, clean. So I want all my like station stuff that I love these junk journals and I'm still gonna make some. So do I need a, a container full of well, I'll have to show you. I have really cool old stationary stuff. I just found, and I knew I had a box of onion paper that Angela had given me, which I love in journals. I love in collage. I found a whole beautiful box. So that I might keep in, but I also have transparencies. I, I mean, I really, I've always collected old stationary things. You go to like old thrift stores and you can get the neatest stuff. So that, you know, and I've got these containers. The mice aren't going to get into them. So that's the kind of thing. So I have some just full of papers I've ripped out. I'm going to clear them out and put stuff, label it, and then I can come out and shop because I really want as little. Books I'm not sure about, nicer books I'm not sure can stay there. Um, we'll see. But so that's the kind of thing I'm looking at. Valentine's, Christmas, Easter for my stuff. And this isn't decoration. This is like art. I mean, paper things and you know, eventually, yeah, I can weed it down. And uh, one day, I'm, yeah, I'm relatively caught up. I'm going to go, oh, yeah, let me go do some sorting and let stuff go. So, and then I, like I said, I went through all these greeting cards and I had a bunch, I didn't show you, but I had a bunch of like sheets of wrapping paper. I took all, I took some out. But I took all of them to work and people have gone through them. They've had a great time. So I gathered up what was left. So that's already ready to go. But I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to have them go to the garage this time. And if there's things I find downstairs, you know, I can put them in my car and just drive them around. I think that would be a good, um, so I can make sure I change that when I make that appointment to choose um, the garage. So yes, yeah, so I feel better already. One from the pages and two from talking to you because I was having a moment. Of course we do. What do you do? 
what do you do at the moment when you feel shitty? And you know, sometimes depression will just push you right back into bed. And I am just determined. Okay, you wanna be depressed, feel shit, you're gonna get up, you're gonna get dressed, you're gonna get a shower, put on a little tiny bit of makeup, y'all. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna talk about, I'm uploading today, so my makeup. Yeah, I gotta make a point, I gotta mark and sue. I'm gonna see if two weeks from now we can get together. I still want Sue to make, teach me to make her vegetable lasagna, y'all. I still can't get over it. I had it three years ago. <laughs> but so that's what's going on. I just want you to know, you know, um, there are things you can do. There are. And they seem ridiculous. You're going to write down three pages of like whatever thoughts you're having, really. But it is magic, I feel. And it's not, I think right now it worked as quickly as it did for me because it's muscle memory because I've done it a lot but I am going to as as washing my teeth y'all I need to get toothpaste today this weekend I have enough for two 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 more and I might go to CVS one I have prescriptions to pick up and um I have a six dollar off coupon and then 40 percent off something so I'm going to go use that coupon up. I tend to forget because really there's not anything normally. Well, my mom loved going. Well, people, there used to be a people's drug, y'all. I don't know if you remember that. It was, it was like right up there was Woolworths, really. My mom loved people's drugs. Oh, my God. She loved it. She loved the CVS. She just loved going in there and poking around. And it's just not, I mean, the prices are, have always been so ridiculous. But sometimes, you know, they do. I look and see what sales they have. Sometimes they have decent things. But one day in the future, when I feel more comfortable, what I'm going to do is you get this, like, you know, I guess CVS is everywhere. I don't know. But you're literally, your receipt is this big with coupons. I thought, how fun to go in and use every coupon and see what you're saving, right? I could probably return stuff, too, for that matter. But, like, right now, I have a $6 off coupon. So, that's that's the kind of coupon you want. But um, other than that, and then um, I'm going to go through again what... I'm going to look at my refrigerator and see what do I really need at the grocery store and only get that. Make sure I'm pretty sure I have everything for enchiladas. So, yeah. And like I said, we have these shrimp pockets to try. Y'all, if you find the kimbap, mail it to me. I hate that I can't find it. I'm trying to get my supervisor has one in the refrigerator. She never had it. And it's like, she's trying to like tempt me. That stuff is just so healthy. Maybe I can get my friend Michelle to teach me how to make it. Um, she probably would, 100%. She loves that kind of stuff. But that's where I am. It is now 8 o'clock, 8.10. Finish up my um, breakfast. I'm going to do my dishes. There aren't many. When you do them, I've been really good. Not going to bed with dishes. Or maybe a cup or a fork or something. Doing really good on that. Y'all did not stay hydrated enough yesterday. That's a big goal today. I got raspberries to eat up. I treated myself to some raspberries, eat that up and you know, have my apple treat later. So yeah, being in the moment. And for me, that's setting an alarm. That's setting an alarm, right? And um, when I, well, I'll never plug up anything for water again. I mean, I guess you have to do your tub, but I tend not to do that walk away. I tend to do that and wait for my tub to fill up. But cooking and stuff, I really never do walk away. And now I'm a little paranoid. So, you know, I thought, well, if you got the, if you got the, um, just like you would put a timer on for something in the oven to remind you, I can put a timer on that I'm, I'm cooking eggs just in case, a reminder. And though sometimes my phone, I can't hear it. Sometimes I can't, I don't know. Right now, I just feel like my, you know, this iPhone is squirrely. Down the line, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get a new iPad, and then I'm gonna get a new iPhone. <laughs> And, but now I'm trying to, to take things off, right? And here's what I want. Does anyone know? And this is, I'm honestly, where do you write to the iPhone people? When you, okay, so let's say I have like 8,000 photos and I put them like, if I take a picture of a password, I have now, I've gotten smarter. I have a password folder. So I can go to the folder and see what they are. Or if there's something I need to complete, I have a folder I can go. Even if there's stuff that, oh, this is an art project, looks cool, I have a folder. Oh, this is a recipe, I have a folder. 
But the problem is, I wish when you put it in a folder, it was not in the main section anymore. Like it can only be one place, right? I, I, you know, because you still have to go through and look through all this to find something. I don't know why they can't do that. I'm going to have to send an email and say, why can't you do this? Or what's going on? But they said to me, oh, the next phone will have that. But it would be the operating system, right? I don't know. I would probably. It's very annoying. But I am going through and like, I don't want to get rid of my cat pictures. But one thing I want to do soon, you know, Snapfish. And there's all kinds. You get like 100 free. So there's some of my cats and stuff. And some of Angela I want to print for people. Um yeah, that's a good thing to do. And I have, I'm on a, do, I'm on a, you know, when I was looking for my tax information that uh, my taxes are done, but I was looking for this where I put my tax information to be safe. Um, I was finding all kinds of old stuff that be shredded. So I went through, took the time and anything that, you know, number one, Caremark has your flipping like code on everything. So like every page had it on there very annoying so I just ripped off part of it but I got everything together to shred and I um and then I found some when I had my stomach surgery which was 2012 so it's funny I was looking at it I, my highest I was 360 pounds and I can't say it wasn't higher right you really don't get on scale when you weigh that much and today I am 240 so when you look at that you know I am a hundred as much what is that you got yeah, that's a lot. Um, that's a lot, actually, right? Because I feel like I haven't lost enough. But you, but by the time I started, they make you start. I'll have to do a whole thing on that. But they make you not eat for two weeks, which is insane. Anyway, I think when I actually had surgery, I was three, um, three thirty maybe. Um, so I've lost like eighty pounds, right? And it's been since 2012 and I've kept it off. I go up and down a little bit. I'm ready to go down some more. Um, you know, my goal was 220, which is what's on my driver's license. <laughs> Their goal for me was 175. So. But I always thought 220 was a good thing. And then I couldn't have to deal with a bunch of skin. That's a whole nother schedule. That's a whole nother talk. But. Um, but I was thinking, so anyway, I have all that. So I went through and I, you know, I kept a couple things just to have one piece. Yes, you have the surgery, blah, 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 on this date, just for my medical records. But I didn't need all of the crap. So 2012, that's how I know it was 2012. So I, I got, I threw away what I could and shredded whatever. I had personal information on it. But I have one more packet to do. And then all that shredded. And that makes me feel good. And then not now. Um... And not when I'm, you know, letting my eyes relax. But soon, I'm going to, um, yeah, I did my brain surgery too. I've already done that where I kept information, um, but I did not keep all the, grit, the gritty details because I don't think anyone needs to know that. Or maybe, I don't know, but I'm not keeping it. It's like, been there, done that. Um, and then I, um, again, I have, I got to call Comcast. You know, I need to do that tomorrow, I think. Because I'm having a hard time getting my email and I'm not using it. But what I want to do is make sure important things aren't going there. And I need to change my security system. Is Something's acting up. But, you know, I have on my, my Gmail, I have folders. So, again, you can go to your folder and print something out. You'll have to find it in other stuff. So, I um, and I'm pretty organized about all that kind of stuff. Until I'm not. But this way, I don't have a bunch of papers to organize. is great for me. But I want to go through my Comcast. I'm not using it anymore because it's ridiculously hard to get into. And Gmail, I, I will see. I may go ahead. I'm not sure yet. Eventually, just come up with another Gmail account that is just for bills and stuff like that. Just separate. So that is something I'm thinking about. But not today. And um, yeah, right now I'm going a little bit through my Gmail and letting go of a bunch of stuff I don't need. I'm following stuff I don't need, that kind of thing. But yeah, so I need to um, to find out why. So they used to have an app, Comcast or Xfinity, whatever the heck it's called. It was so easy. And now they don't. I'm sorry. They can't afford to keep a, 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 a thingy, an app going, all that money they make. 
but I did get rid of the TV part, and I'm, but I feel like I'm still paying too much, so I need to do that. And there's a couple other things I managed to get myself on a month, not to month, but yearly thing that I need to go in and deal with too, which I'm going to. But yeah, so, um, and then one day we will organize all that stuff and, you know, I have all my mom's stuff put away and, you know, I didn't really, I kept some of her medical information just because we really don't know what she died of. And, you know, I would have, was, I was, we were racking our brains trying to figure out, again, my brother did not want an autopsy. It just, it just still boggles my mind. But um, in case something ever happens to someone again, like me, maybe, then, you know, at least they have all that. So, and maybe, you know, three generations from now, it'll be fascinating. Like, oh my God, they did what? Can you believe this? It's like barbaric. But let me let you guys go because I'm yapping. I just, the hour seems to be about the time I want to spend in the morning with y'all. But I'm going to finish up my breakfast, get my dishes done. And um, so that's the kind of thing I'm really training because my, my brain will say, I'll do it later. This is just so ADHD. I, even the cupboard, like, oh, you can close that later. But I'm really challenging that. Like, no, this is good. If it's going to take under five minutes, let's do it. Right, let's do it. Under five minutes. This seems pretty reasonable. So that's how I'm thinking about that. But I'll, hopefully I'll take you in the garage with me. My phone is just really bizarre about holding up charges. I've been trying to get all apps off and get declutter everything I don't use anymore. But, um... And I don't know, the chargers aren't working. I don't know, I'm going to run up to, and you know, I know there's probably nothing to do with my iPad, but I thought maybe if I brought it up to Apple and they looked at it, I don't know what they're going to say. And I did not, I don't believe I had eye care. I have eye care on my phone because I thought, well, I'm not going to lose my iPad. I don't really take it anywhere, but okay. All right, guys, I will hopefully be popping in, but you'll definitely see stuff I've done. And um, yeah. You know, send the focus train. And I'm, I'm going to add, incorporate a little, yeah, a little tea, a little um, caffeine later in my day that, you know, I guess, I don't know. I don't think black tea as much tea as coffee. Is that what they say? Plus, I have a really good PG and Tips decaffeinated tea I like. And we're going to add a little ginger powder and start playing around with that. And you guys, raspberries are the best. So what I do when they're not super sweet, I add a liqueur. So limoncello, um, cassis, just a little bit. And they get all yummy and stuff because I'm not going to eat sour. Or you can save them. Put them in a smoothie. Maybe if I get the energy, I'll make a smoothie later. I threw a, a, a banana turn in. Yeah. Well, right now all my cleaning stuff is out, but Kenny's going to come today and look at this. I said, I don't want to put anything under. And that's going to be smoothie central. Y'all, we're going to do some smoothies. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go. I am. But hopefully be, I'll be popping in. Hopefully I get the time to post. If not, probably tomorrow I'll be posting a lot. But I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you're at. Rainy day. Sometimes are the best. Um, library is not so much. Everyone will be at the library today. Yep. Everyone will be, be a good library day, y'all. So, all right, guys, you take care, and I'll talk to you soon.